history of Santa Lucia Parish under the Archdiocese of San Fernando, Pampanga. The Santa Lucia Church stands westward bound of Levi Panlili Street, Paruk 5, Barangay Santa Lucia, City of San Fernando, Pampanga, in a lot graciously donated by Santa Lucia's late merchant, Maxima David. The church is dedicated to Saint Lucy, virgin and martyr, a follower of Christ for peace, holiness, and faith. The parish feast day is celebrated every 13th of December. From the years 1930 to 1940, the first house of Santa Lucia was a structure made of light materials with an area of 100 square meters. The walls were made of bamboo with no pavement of sorts, while the roofs were made of galvanized iron. The chapel was left to this condition until after the Second World War when a group of young barrio officials decided to take action. However, by the late 50s to early 70s, the chapel of Santa Lucia was still a dilapidated structure where holy masses were officiated by Monsignor Constancio Pandilio. Assisting him were the magnificent seven, namely Milano and Norberto David, Guillermo Flores, Vic Vargas, Jose Jorge, Apolonio Aguas, and Buenaventura Castro, who started soliciting to the parishioners and the kind-hearted people for the construction of a better edifice for the Lord. Their endeavors proved to be an awakening of the residents, and donations in kind and in cash soon started to pour in the construction. The roofing, ceiling, facade, and posts were funded by the Well of Families, charitable sons and daughters of Santa Lucia. The narrow pews, lectern, tabernacle, table of sacrifice, and other materials came from various sources and donors. The construction came to fruition in 1980. Then, large structures were built to promote the chapel to a parish church. Apolonio Agua started a petition for the creation of the parish with the whole support of the barangay officials and parishioners. The Archbishop Oscar V. Cruz and Vicar General Monsignor Diosdado Victorino studied the petition for the creation of the chapel to Santa Lucia Parish Church. By God's providence, in 1981, on the 30th of March, the decree on the creation of the Santa Lucia Parish was released by Archbishop Cruz, and Reverend Father Ricardo T. Serrano was installed as the first parish priest. On September 22, 1983, Reverend Father Ricardo took further studies in Rome. With this, Santa Lucia Parish was officiated by Reverend Father Pites Bernardo until his unfortunate death from a vehicular accident in Nueva Ecija. Reverend Father Ed Pandillo then served as guest priest which lasted for months. The second official parish priest, Reverend Monsignor Antonio Bustos, was installed from 1983 to 1987. It was during his guidance that the two wings of the church were constructed under the leadership of Brother Jose Olalia and S.K. Vicente David. Monsignor Guido Aliwalas came as the third parish priest from 1987 to 1992. During Monsignor Guido's time, the Ijas ng Santa Lucia joined their faith with Saint Lucy. Upon his compulsory retirement, Reverend Father Homer Polycarpio took over with Reverend Father Ramon V. Torres as guest priest until August 1993. Reverend Father Andres Serrano was the fourth parish priest from August of 1993 to June of 1996. Soon after, Reverend Father Rolando Bogs Maraleja was appointed as officer in charge of the parish until October 22, 1997. Reverend Father Alvin Modesto Manalang was installed as the fifth parish priest on October 23, 1997. 
it is with his present incumbent that the Santa Lucia parish undergone major renovations. The flooring was made to rise approximately a meter high to free it from floodings. The chapels, namely San Pedro Apostol Chapel in Cotun and San Nicolas de Tolentino Chapel, also went under renovations, while the Santa Maria de Gula Chapel was finished in the year 2000. Reverend Father Homer Policarpio was installed as the sixth parish priest of Santa Lucia. He started the Corsillo and Corsada para Karin Kayanakan, Coral Dal Festival, concerts, and theater programs. Through his strong will and the support of the parishioners and benefactors, the acquisition of the adjacent lot of the parish took place, and the parish church edifice was erected. The Santa Monica Chapel was also raised and finished during Father Homer's term. The seventh parish priest was Reverend Father Norman Vito in the year 2007. The whole parish structure, including the altar retablo, was finished under his leadership in 2010. The dedication of the newly erected parish church was presided by the Most Reverend Pashano B. Aniceto, Doctor of Divinity. By the request of the devotees, the pilgrim image of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary of Manawag visited the parish. Similarly, by the request of the devotees, the pilgrim image of Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno visited the parish. In 2013, Reverend Father Rafael Zedek Dixie Paras was installed as the 8th parish priest. He initiated the renovations, repair, and repainting of the church and convento. The Father Michael J. McGivney Parish Hall's design and construction was initiated by the Knights of Columbus, and this project was funded through the efforts of the parish priest and the lady through a concert for her costs. In the year 2017, Reverend Father Jason B. Miranda of Barrio San Nicolas was ordained to the Sacred Order of Presbyters. While it was on July 2017 when a remarkable milestone took place in our parish. By the unwavering devotion and untiring dedication of our former parish priest, Reverend Father Dixie, we received the first class relic of our patroness, Saint Lucy, which gave us more reason to love and serve the Lord. In 2017, by the request of the devotees, the national pilgrim image of Our Lady of Fatima visited the parish. In the year 2019, Reverend Father Mark Christopher Mandap de Leon of Santa Monica Village was ordained to the Sacred Order of Presbyters. Our present and ninth parish priest, Reverend Father Melchor Sachon, was installed in 2019. Reverend Father Melchor abided by the request of the Archbishop to know and to reach the poorest of the poor in the parish periphery's, among established programs which gave emphasis on the Church of the Poor. During his time, outreach programs for reformists in collaboration with the PNP San Fernando were established. The Ministry on Social Communications and Servants of the Holy Communion were also established. Reverend John Sinon Tulio was appointed as the resident deacon on October 2020, aimed to ignite the parishioners' faith, hope, and love, especially amid the COVID-19 pandemic, through the effort of the parish priest and deacon, supported by the parishioners, they raised funds for the extension of the parish church. With the turn of events, the mission of following its parishioners into Masigasig King Biepaman Yuyu, Biepami Yubug, at Biepaman Yumbo is still being aimed and pursued and not forgotten. Through the leadership of our parish priest, Reverend Father Melchor, in collaboration with the creative efforts of lay leaders, the parish still continues to engender the gospel values of Christ. Forty years of traversing God's path with the beacon of brightness, Saint Lucy. Even in the midst of darkness, may the light of our fate shine brighter under your patronage.
Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda Misyon kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Umegami timpas lagan Naging ama namusoy wanding mangailangan Naalanin mo na Palablaban ang misun para king ginu. We stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith, faithful to death. We bear the gifts of mission. So will be yours to give ourselves, faithful to yours until we end. Ipagkalaman ba ang minake at biyayan Masamal, busti sa kapayapan Inugod na mo, pinsablayang tanda Hingke ka na, kasal pantayanan Bangdaang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat, Panginoon. Misyong kaloob sa aming puso, aming sarili ay aming hanggang. Laging tapat at laging tukon Narinito na kami Panginoon